All right, welcome back Twitch, welcome back YouTube. Let's get back to just another game, Rapa 2, Goodbye Despair, where we're coming out of the third Clash Trails intermission. And I'm taking, taking a lot of saves. Resume. I'm Monami. Once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Seriously. He's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. No! This definitely cannot be allowed. That's why I want you to remember this. Remember me! Notice me! Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently! Always reminding us to save, like I need the help. The reason the killer did an imitation murder is a reason other than falsifying the murder sequence. Does something like that even exist? Huh. It suddenly got quiet in here. Did I confuse you? If so... I wish I could die from self-loathing. Whoever Nagito's voice actor is actually, uh, I don't, I don't know if it's the same in English, but uh, the Japanese voice actor for Nagito is the same as Makoto's for specific reasons. <laughs> Man, this again. If that's the case. It would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. I'm gonna point it out here. Uh, Makoto Naegi and Nagito Komaida are basically anagrams of each other. And this isn't a spoiler, but it was used to get people to speculate. Uh, Nagito Kame Komaida actually uh, can be moved to Makoto Naegi Da, which is Japanese for I'm Makoto Naegi. Now that's not a spoiler for this game, but it was used to get people to speculate before the game's release what his character was going to be. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Well... It's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That's only a rule you came up after the fact. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Give it time. Seriously, just shut up already. Shut up forever. But I'm thinking about it again, and he's totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. Again, that's a rule that came up after the fact. It's not just that. Come on, try to remember the content of the movie. About the lion that got killed second. That's the one Hyoko's body was imitating, right? Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? Aha! So this is going to be a plot point. I see, like I didn't know this was going to come up. But Hiyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. To be fair, as I said before, they could just not have access to bows and arrows. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, now I know I'm wrong. Well, that's probably it, but that attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. You know, they probably didn't have a composite bow strong enough to shoot arrows into the pillar. Just saying. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. But if we never... What? 
I don't get this statement. But if we never realized it was a half-ass limitation, when their plan worked, if we better if we didn't realize that. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying Yoko's murder wasn't. What? Yoko's murder wasn't planned? Um, I understand that imitation wasn't enough, but aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? It's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, why did Hyoko go to the music venue? Why did Hyoko go to the music venue? So, you're saying the truth behind Hyoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say! However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. How does that one sleep on the edge of the scarf without falling off? That's what I want to know. Of course, the answer is because it is a video game, but I still want to know. Why Hyoko went to the music venue? If that's the key to all this, I need to find that out no matter the cost. I think we already know why she went. Let's make the argument. The only one I'm interested in is the not here. Actually, hotel room key Hyoko probably. Go to the music venue? Why do your words spiral There's across no the screen? Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not it. <laughs> Magic. Maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe. Wait, what's going on in the background? She went of her own free will. She was guided by the will of causality. What's going on with the stuff in the brackets? <laughs> I need to find out why Hyoko went to the music venue first. All right. Why did Hyoko she went of her own free will, clearly. No way we can help maybe the killer summoned her. Come to the music venue. If that's not it, maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe. She went of her own free will. Sonya has a lot that. of good ideas. Break. It's just as Sonya said. She went to the music venue of her own free will. So... Exactly as I assumed. Of course you would assume this. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Right. Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, mm. you know? Meow. I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Hiyoko got abducted. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? And something like that... I won't lose! Oh, we have a showdown with Kane! Are you saying my gut was wrong? Your gut is fine. This has been my first and last highlight of the day. <laughs> Why won't you just let me shine already? No, that's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk. I'll shut you up right now. Oh gosh, she's gonna punch me in the face. All right, what do we got here? Step ladder candle, smudge, Mikon's account, Sonia's account. Sonia, save me! Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or the killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her. All right, we can but move Hiyoko's forward. Hiyoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! 
is more stubborn than I thought. I can't break out. I need to counter remarks and show her my decisive proof. The killer was the one who locked the door. So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later. All right. I was actually focused on There's Sonya's no reason for trying the killer to get to Sonya's put the key in Gioko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. It's not Hold concentrating on. this. Try remembering Yoko's body. Her kimono. There's only Crap. one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer. Okay, oh, good. Cut through those words. There are two weak points, and I chose the right one. The reason Yoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Remember, she's got the most inconvenient clothes of all of us. Yeah, it's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Kyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. Why do we have to see this? I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue. And I suggested that she use it. Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes, do whatever you want to me! Why does it always come down to nudity with you? Hajime, now's your chance! Make her... Admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. <laughs> Hell no. Then, the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hiyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hiyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting this Sonya, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamsters six feet under. Leave the hamsters out of this. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Gundam, please stop. For his sake. <laughs> huh? What do you mean, for my sake? Of course. I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hiyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is... it was an unfortunate coincidence. Co coincidence When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. Well, this is awkward. I'm killing somebody, and you're half-naked. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. Huh, so what do we do now? The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head, and without hesitation... ...killed Hiyoko. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. I mean, they were still gonna kill somebody, just not that way. Do you have any ideas? That's a really awkward rope placement. Why do I feel like that thing moves? Damn, we don't know the most important part. The killer's plan from the beginning? I'm pretty sure we're very, very close. Hey Nagito, any ideas? Oh yeah, you've been fucking quiet. It's because you got told to shut up forever, isn't it? Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps! Everyone actually needs help from scum like me! If we knew that was how it would work, we could have done that, like, months ago. So what do you think? 
I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember. There was blood on Ibuki's slippers. So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. True. Where are you going with this? So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. <laughs> huh? Really? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. Heh. <laughs> 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 oh. Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be! Actually, I wonder about that. Usually he points out the things we need to know. No, wait a minute. If Ibuki had blood on her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place, place if she kept walking around? That's strange. That's very strange. This is strange? What's strange? I see. It's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints. There's still an important clue left that we completely overlooked. Just as Nagito said, if she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Then why... why weren't there any footprints? On the... thing. I assume the stepladder. There's blood there, but there's no footprints. Not on the stairs. I can prove it with this! If Ibuki used the stepladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah. That stepladder was completely clean. No footprints or bloodstains at all. Well, bloodstains, but not footprints. Do you, do you notice such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate! What are you talking about? You were obviously leading us to this. That's why you brought up the suicide topic after all this time. Nagito Komaeda, you're definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. Here's something else he's pointed out. He pointed out the rope. But didn't you say you saw that video of Ibuki climbing the stepladder? Then I think there's no doubt that she really did climb it. Unless there was something funny about that video. So, I'm just gonna point this out. And you guys can do what you want with it. Go to the truth bullet. Ibuki Miyota's cause of death was, was crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Choking. Not hanging. Hanging is a way you can choke somebody. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video, hmm? That's probably why Nagito is sus of the rope. But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. So, just as I thought, it comes back down to the video. The mystery surrounding this incident is contained in that. And whether or not we can reach that hidden truth is all up to me. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but oh well. You should get started already. Yeah, I'll definitely try. If there is some hidden clue in that video, I should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who can clear that up. I'm the only one who actually saw that video. So I'm the only one who can do it. 
the hanging video that I saw. Based on everything we know from the debates thus far, I should be able to figure out what's strange. Select a suspicious spot. Well, like there's no blood here. Here. That's right, I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that stepladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that stepladder weren't dirty, but on one side, there was a bloodstain right on the left side of the stepladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any bloodstains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Mbugi's death, then Hyoko should have already been dead by that point. Even so, the fact is the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. But the stepladder in the video was completely bloodless. And there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two stepladders were completely different. Wait, are you saying there were two stepladders? And if there's two stepladders... But where would you find another stepladder? There was only one stepladder in the music venue. Then one of the stepladders was somewhere other than the music venue. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, maybe that rope doesn't move, but it feels like it does. It'd be funny to think about her just being on a track up there, just revolving around the courtroom. You're suggesting that the stepladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? That's amazing, Chiaki! All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills! Is it okay to say that? I feel... I, uh, feel like the game is self-aware. What are you two talking about? The stepladder isn't the only thing that's different, huh? Chiaki said the stepladder was at a different place, but... If that's the case, the thing that's different between that video and the actual scene of the crime... Is that thing the place where the killer did something? Alright, time for a hangman's gambit. Crap, I was hoping for a logic dive. Alright, let's, uh... Give me a lot of Fs. A lot of Fs, holy shit. Holy shit, so many Fs, look at this! Really wanted me to use the Fs there. I would probably say that if the step letters are different and are being backed up by the letters, the other thing that's different is the filming location. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. I'm gonna lose that. Give me that eye. Get the end? Got it. That doesn't do me any good. Goodbye! Alright, now I need juice. Oop! I need to get rid of that thing! I've been working with that thing! <laughs> Haven't even been paying attention to the fact I left that. The prompt up. Clearly, I am doing this card mode. Alright, here we go. 
There. Oh, no, I need that C. Give me that C. Oops. I needed that A too. Another opportunity! Redeem myself! Oh, well, the board's cleared now. I'm using the wrong button again. Maybe it's probably because I'm like panicking a little bit. I am picnicking. Everybody picnic. I need an in. Just give me an in and we can be out of here. I always do so bad with this. Which is a shame because it's a really fun concept. But it gets frantic really fast. <laughs> The filming location! That's right! Besides the stepladder, the filming location must have been different too! What do you mean? I mean the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. It was filmed somewhere else. The, the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music venue camera, you know? Then, there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. In order to show us that they filmed the video at the music venue instead of somewhere else, what did the killer do to that surveillance camera unit? Alright, now it's time for a logic dive. Too many games in a row. Why do I always get this when I'm already low on health? <laughs> I always get this after a hangman's gambit. Up. Oh. Wow. Really? Fortunately, it always follows a pattern. Which part of the surveillance camera unit did the killer tamper with? The camera, the monitor, or both? I'd have to say not both. Okay, it's the camera. I got five hits left. Two questions, five hits. Ah! Really? Cannot look at chat right now. Oh man. What are you quoting at me, Nick? Did the killer tamper, tamper with the hospital camera or the music venue? I believe the music venue. Wouldn't make sense to tamper with the hospital one. Hey, Celestia. I cannot look at chat right now. My name is Celestia Lundberg, god damn it! Question three. Where did the killer what did the killer do with the camera from the music venue surveillance camera unit? They took it with them. Mikon's acting hella sus. Mikon is talking a lot. Snowboard the undeclinables. <laughs> Alright. Also, we apparently ook the camera with us. Wow. It's all coming together. 10 out of 10 translation. That's it. The killer just brought the camera from the music venue. With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue when it was actually from somewhere else. Then. 
Only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes. At least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Hyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start and made this easier on all of us. Bitch, please. I would have if I could have. He did discover the body. <clears throat> I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. <laughs> I don't remember that one. I just remember. <laughs> I just remember. My name is Celestia Lundberg. God damn it. That's you. Well, that's true, but... In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. They pretty much beat the shit out of it. I see! I'm not even going to pretend otherwise. They beat the shit out of the it. The killer smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. Ah, I don't remember that, but it's been a while since we played it. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And the moment Hajime left the music okay. venue, the killer put back the camera they took. <laughs> and oh, they look. destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. There are more pieces, if you noticed. I don't think any of you did. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. <laughs> That's rude. Sonia's pretty smart. Sonia says a lot of smart things. Kazuichi's kind of an idiot. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music venue is amazing enough. Which means even if it even if was filmed in another place, as long as it was transmitting to the hospital. The range would be pretty limited. If that's the case, where was the video filmed to make it look like it was filmed at the music venue? The only possibility is... That place inside that building. Am I gonna do another Hangman's Gambit? Yes I am! <laughs> Alright, I think we all see where this is coming. And I need an O. Let's keep that for as long as I... Come on, give me an O. Yes. Perfect. Awesome. k k k k, -k combo I can't really make too many mistakes here. I don't have a whole lot of health. I need an E. Thank you. Now I need another E. Perfect. It's almost like they're trying to spell this out. So that uh, we go a little bit faster because we just ha had one of these. Oh, that's not fair. I couldn't even see it. I just need room. Crap. I think I can keep this M up. Oh, look at that. Thread the needle. Oh, no, no. Crap. Damn it. If they have an off screen, what am I supposed to do about them? Oops, that's my bad. Give me that M. Give me an- Oop! Give me a- Fuck! There we go. The conference room. I got it! And complete. Possible that it was filmed at the hospital's conference room. Huh? Conference room? 
but the hospital and the music venue look completely different. That's exactly why the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. To make the conference room look like the music venue, the killer went ahead and did some work. I've got to make clear what that work was. Alright, time to make your argument. I think we all know what this is. I think it's becoming pretty obvious. I There's think no a lot of people are starting room. to starting well, to agree with Celestia here. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Or did they make some kind of set? They might have tampered with the camera. I still can't believe he mixed up the filming locations. <laughs> Hajime, you're pretty stupid. Rude. Alright, in order to make the hospital conference room resemble the music venue, what did the killer do? I should figure that out first. There's no way the conference room and the music venue look the- Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Ooh. I guess that's not it. Oh, right, I got it backwards. Right, right, right. Shit. I, I, I forgot which There's curtain no was actually shorter. And the music venue looked the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? I forgot the music, the music venue? venue has the bad curtain. Or did the music venue look like the comp? That's what That I mean. must be it. And break. What the killer did was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. From what I remember, God, Teddy Typhoon is still the best, best name for a club but ever. After the incident, it somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. For some reason, I keep. I keep thinking like the black curtain fits the music venue more than the conference room. That's why I did that. That's right! It's so half-assed! Just like Monami! Don't talk about Monami's ass, I don't want to see it. Oh yeah? Well, your face looks stupid! Thank you for the follow, Celestia. That curtain was hung so the music venue would look like the conference room? In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. Yeah, I forgot that this one fits and the music venue one does not. It's not long enough. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is. Oh, shit! As the music venue <laughs> stage. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor match. Matching floors, matching curtains. I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. Something else the killer did to make the music venue look like the conference room? It's gotta be that. It's gotta be the candle. I can prove it with this! You're referring to the candle in the music venue, right? In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. But if you think about it, that's pretty strange. The music venue has good lighting, so there's no reason to even use candlelight. In fact, when we saw the music venue with the hanging body, one of the spots spotlights was on! Oh, but that was such a good part, though. That's one of my favorite parts. But wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have been another reason, but the main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. They couldn't be used during filming. That's why the killer used a candle as film lighting instead. Which means, are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? Did nobody check to see if it was burned? Not one of you fucks. 
That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. With that cheap-ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is the site. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up, so I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. The motel would have been too far, and the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. Yeah, that is weird. I mean, you're supposed to... It's supposed to be the bad ending, but, you know, Alter Ego... <laughs> Maybe Alter Ego doesn't like Kyoko as much as Makoto. <laughs> but this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. Maybe, uh... Maybe Alter Ego saw Kyoko as a, um... A rival for Makoto's affections. Ooh. You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. The incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. I feel like I've heard Bayside cops say that before, but isn't it the other way around? Um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? No, that doesn't make sense. No, that's not possible. Yeah, see, like, he was the first one to call Alter Ego his friend. I don't think Kyoko ever did. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. That video was filmed at the conference room, but Ibuki's body was at the music venue. Which means there was a fake somewhere. The fake must have been... The Ibu the Hyoko in the music venue! The Ibuki in the conference room. I see! The person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. It was... The killer pretending to be Ibuki. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. So that's what happened. Then, no matter how quickly I ran, it was impossible for me to save it, for me to rescue Ibuki. At that moment, I was already in the killer's trap. And the one who set a trap for me was... But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? Frilly fingers? The reason the killer made a fake video... There's only one possibility I can think of. And if I examine that possibility thoroughly, then naturally the killer's identity will reveal itself. You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? That's right. I should already know. I should have already known. Who the killer is. Noodle-like fingers. <laughs> you know, I feel like this would be a good time to take a break. So that's what we're gonna do. YouTube! And this is going to be kind of awkward. But I have to use the restroom, so I'm going to take a quick five minute break. YouTube, you'll get to find out who it is tomorrow, assuming you don't already know. And I'll see you then. Thank you for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me likes, comments, subscribe, and I'll see you guys, see you guys tomorrow. Twitch, we're going to take a five minute break, and then uh, I will leave you off of this really crappy cliffhanger. See you in a minute.